this is my native bee observation little thingy. It's my first year I've had it, and wow, I love this. Check it out. This girlfriend is spinning the cocoon around herself as we watch. Wow. I love it. Look at her working hard. You can just see the shadow of that cocoon that she's working on in preparation for her. Well, actually, it's an in, it's called an instar, where they go from egg to larvae to pupae to full-grown little native orchard mason bee. And this will show you the end here. You can see that they have very much thicker plugs of mud at the very end, this tube. And they have this, the empty spaces, which are called vestibules, which is sort of like a, a deception. And they're hoping that, you know, anybody like a woodpecker or a mouse or even a squirrel or, you know, would go in there and break through that bud and think, nope, nothing in there that's worth going for. So that's what that's all about. And then... You can see as we go down this row that there are some big old healthy looking bees there. And up on this top row, they've already, most of them have already woven their cocoons, spun their cocoons around themselves, and they are getting near hibernation mode. So cool. Here's the the yellow is the high is the uh, pollen and the nectar that the female mom bee collects, and then she lays her eggs on top of that. The egg hatches into a little larvae, and here's this larvae here in the very end. That would be the last one laid, and you know of course it's a lot smaller than the others, much less developed. So, oh, this is very cool. At this very, at the, the very bottom group is, you can see there are a whole lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Little bee, bees to be. Ha uh ha. -huh. And much smaller cavities. And those are the non-native horn-faced bees. And it's one of the ways you can tell them apart when you see how they nest. And these certainly this middle group is orchard mason bee. Top group, eh, that's I'm not really sure. It looks like orchard mason, but might not be. Anyway, I thought this was pretty cool.